welcome to the first in this new series of step-by-step -step music production tutorials. My name is Max, and on this channel I do all sorts of stuff like this related to music production, music theory, composition, all that kind of stuff. Today we're going to be remaking the beat you just heard step-by-step -step in a follow-along fashion so that if you follow along with me, pausing and doing the things on your own DAW, you'll end up with the same beat that I made. I'm using Studio One here. This tutorial is geared towards Studio One users, but of course you can also follow along in any other DAW. You'll just have your own sounds you have to choose from as opposed to the ones that come with Studio One. This step-by-step -step series is intended to fill a gap in the music production education realm where in traditional education, like when we're learning an instrument, we often learn by playing the music of others, right? We play cover songs on guitar or piano or whatever, sometimes hundreds of them before we begin writing our own music. And we get a sense of how the instrument is played, how people write music on the instrument by playing professional music over and over and over again. And we start to see, ah, it moves this way. You do this, they do this chord, then this chord, they pick it like this and so on. But in the music production world, we don't really have that kind of thing because it's difficult. It's difficult to listen to a piece of music and try to copy the whole thing by ear. All the theory, all the music production, all the mixing, the mastering, all the steps, it's quite a endeavor. So the purpose of this series is to fill that gap, to have a nice loop, a nice piece of music we can make, and to show you exactly what went into it, all the musical decisions, all the mixing decisions, all the production decisions, the what, why, who, where, what of everything, basically. If you're a beginner or someone who's pretty new to music production, I suggest that you follow everything I do exactly, step for step, every single note, every single mixing decision, every single everything. This is a great way to learn, just to take your hands off the creative control for a bit and just follow along and copy something and learn how it was built. If you're at a more intermediate level, it would be good to follow along, but to make variations, change the melody, change the chords, change the key, change the drum pattern, but take the overall thing, the step-by-step -step process, and still follow along. If you're beyond that, beyond intermediate, then you can probably just watch the whole thing and enjoy the process, and you might pick up some tricks along the way, tricks for music, tricks for production, tricks for mixing, whatever it happens to be. As well, in the description, there are some links I'd like you to check out if you have a minute. One is a Discord link, which is a kind of chat room where you can chat with me and others about music production if you're into that kind of stuff. Otherwise, there's a couple of links there for courses that I have. And these courses are on music theory and composition related stuff, not about using a DAW, not about music production specifically, but more about the composition and theory side of things. With all that out of the way, it's time we actually get into the music. So prepare yourself, open up your DAW, and let's make this lo-fi beat. All right, so before we even get started, we're just gonna talk about a couple of things. First is the tempo of this track is gonna be 75 BPM. A lot of lo-fi goes between about 60 and 90, so I'm taking a middle ground there. We're also gonna use the key of E major, which is just chosen because I like the feel of E bass notes. A low E bass note has a good, thick, cozy resonance, and we're gonna have that as our root, our tonic of this track. And so every time we hit the E chord, we're gonna feel boo nice and relaxed with a big fat bass note at the bottom. So if you want, you can set that down here just to be key of E, make sure this is set to 75 there, and then we're ready to get started. 